The Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 18th of February. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather warming up very nicely today and tomorrow and a big rain event early next week. Check things out early this morning. Hey, check the ridge developing west of the state. As that approaches, some spots around here could easily see 70 tomorrow and Saturday. Of course, big trough coming into the Pacific coast. Check out the numbers as the day begins. A few spots below freezing. Look at Fort Payne, 27. Haleyville, 29. Gadsden's below freezing at 30, but uh, Birmingham, 39. But again, a nice warm-up today. Dry air heats very effectively. We should be in the 60s easily this afternoon. Around the nation, coldest air around the Great Lakes and the Northeast. Here's the watch warning map. Wind advisories and high wind warnings for parts of the western states and the high plains. And down below that, all the counties in pink, those are red flag warnings. But check this out. This is the fire weather outlook today. Wow. An extreme risk of wildfires for the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles and some of the adjacent states. And a critical danger all the way over to Fort Smith, Arkansas and Kansas City. It'll be very warm and breezy and very dry there. Rain for the next five days. This is valid through Tuesday morning. This has got a two-inch bullseye near Birmingham. And understand, we'll see more rain beyond this period during the day Tuesday and Tuesday night. So uh, this might be a deal where some spots go over two inches Monday and Tuesday of next week. And we'll take a look at this as we go. All right, model fans, the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid today at noon, ridging to the west. A sunny sky. Low 60s are likely. The uh, GFS showing 62. Look at the anomalies. Very warm. In fact, uh, some of the anomalies are 30 degrees above average over Kansas today. That's where that wildfire danger is. Tomorrow, a good supply of sunshine. Upper 60s are likely. Somebody might touch 70. Saturday as the weekend begins. Again, we'll be well up in the 60s, close to 70. And you can see a weak front approaching from the north and i guess somebody might see a shower over the tennessee valley but look at the nam it's got basically nothing saturday afternoon and i think we can i don't know if we take it out but the chance of rain is so small wouldn't worry about it a, a mixture of clouds and sunshine and this is sunday the rain chances will be a bit higher but again not widespread not heavy this is the uh, nam sunday at noon and again, it doesn't look overly bullish, but we'll mention a chance of scattered showers on Sunday afternoon. And we stay pleasant with highs well up in the 60s. Monday, a wave of low pressure begins to form on the front and the weather turns pretty wet. We'll be in the 60s. Tuesday, got a surface low right on top of us with widespread rain. And then Wednesday, that surface low is over New Jersey and everything is out of here. And we will be... Uh, a little cooler with a clearing sky on Wednesday. Thought we check the uh, European. Fairly similar. This is Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. It's got the surface low near Anniston. And again, that looks like a really good rain event. And then this is Wednesday. Go off the European. Everything is out of here with uh, clearing and cooler conditions. If you're looking for snow with this thing, don't look here. But up in uh, maybe parts of Pennsylvania and uh, Ohio and western new york they could see some uh, good snow toward the middle of next week a week from today thursday the 25th troughing over the east and that looks dry and relatively pleasant the high would be in the upper 50s if that's right this is the end of the forecast period saturday the 27th uh pretty good little vortex to the north and again evidence maybe a few little light rain showers but no big deal we note the European tries to bring the AO strongly downward toward the beginning of March. We'll see if that trend continues. And the same thing for the NAO. And I've told you, winter's not over yet. Don't even think about it. We always have cold snaps in March and April, sometimes very significant cold snaps. However, the GEFS ensemble not showing any cold air. It's got us uh, dropping after the rain next week with a high of about 52 on Thursday. But According to this, we zoom right back up into the 60s about the time March begins. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 456 
and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.